Oh, oh, hey viewers, sorry, I was just putting in my recently re-enabled creator code. So the Nightfire is in the shop, and I am delighted to say that I really, really like this bow. I'm not terribly impressed by the damage, it's nothing extraordinary, it's no new hardest hitting, you know, bow sniper in the game, but... What it does have going for it is, based off of my observation, there are no numbers, I haven't tested it severely, you know, side by side against any of the bows, but with a reload perk on this and the draw speed considered, this might be the fastest firing bow that I have observed. It is very, very comfortable to use. This thing is very easy to get off shot after shot after shot. So even if it's not like a perfectly powerful weapon, you have many opportunities to do a lot of damage with this weapon. And uh, you're also able to take a lot of damage. And that is what's unique about the night fires, because when you take that damage, hitting an enemy with this weapon will regain 5.5% of the damage dealt as shields, which isn't super significant, but it's nice to have especially considering the shield bonus usually isn't that big like shields from my eyeball tend to be about you know one to two or three hundred thousand shields so you don't really need to do a ton of damage to get a lot of that back for reference 5.5 of a million damage is about 55,000 shield which is a pretty significant amount and not completely unattainable assuming that you're hitting good crit shots so I am using totally rocking out with this and many of you know that in my past videos I don't actually like to use totally rocking out because as I always say totally rocking out makes any weapon really really good so it gives you kind of a false sense of how powerful a weapon can be however i really wanted to demonstrate that you know totally rocking out is great for buffing the damage of the crits obviously that's why people use it but also because uh this weapon regenerates shields so if i use blast from the past i'd be doing a disservice to not only myself but you as the viewers if i didn't demonstrate the fact that this weapon can of course do that now it is fair to mention that the uh, reload perk that we have on this did replace a crit damage perk so it does have a 1.3 base reload speed by default so you can can roll another crit damage perk on top of this. In fact, it came default for everybody as crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, crit rating. You can tell that Epic definitely wants you to use crits on this weapon. Uh, it was my understanding that as a medieval weapon, it would be crits that are regenerating your shield. Uh, it used to be an, an X amount of percent of crits uh, that would regenerate the shield, and that's kind of standard with the medieval weapons, but it appears as though uh, it's only all damage that regenerates it. And I think that's pretty fair because the damage regeneration was fairly conservative, so it was kind of nice to have it on every single shot. Now, now, moving to my copy of this weapon so I can actually show you what the options are, let's talk about what the best perks for this weapon are. If you're going raw damage and you're using totally rocking out, I honestly can't say much against the crit rating, crit rating, double crit damage. That's going to be probably your most potential damage. However, a second crit rating perk is almost always less damage than an actual damage perk. So I'm thinking crit rating, double crit damage, damage might be a fairly decent way to go. However, if you want to spend no extra reperk and leave it default as it comes, this is great. Seriously, I don't have much to say about this. Of course, I went for more of a hybrid build, putting reload on this, and I didn't regret it because even though it might not have crit as hard, you were able to reload significantly faster, and it was a much, much nicer experience. Going from 1.3 reload to 0.7 was basically twice as fast, and if you can get twice as many shots off, it's a much smoother experience because if you miss shots, and you will, nobody's perfect, trust me. In fact, even with a shielder husk, I found that it was a little buggy. It wasn't actually connecting to the slit when I, I thought it should. The game isn't perfect. So being able to recover from a missed shot is going to be a much nicer experience. So I did go for that reload perk, and that's something that I would definitely want to point out as a potential option. And of course, as I said earlier, I do prefer damage over that second crit rating. Now, if you don't like crit perks, and I know many people don't because it's a bow, you're shooting, you know, one shot every 0.7 seconds. Uh, that's that's not uh, not too much. <laughs> that's kind of a uh, rare opportunity to crit. And this was doing about 130k with two of us in the party, so that is a very decent amount of damage even without a crit hit. But I could uh, I could totally understand if you wanted to go reload triple damage on this. That would be a much more consistent experience. However, uh, in the end, crits will win out. They will totally dwarf you in damage because if you're saying like a smasher, for example, if you're taking, you know, three, four, five shots to kill it with damage, in that amount of time, you would probably have crit by now. So I think crit rating crit damage is probably an okay way to go because pretty much everything even without a crit is going to die in about two or three shots and as i just said by that third shot on average you would have crit anyway so i don't really see too many reasons not to go for crits on this 
As with all bows, it does have a fantastic headshot multiplier, but unless you are actually Robin Hood, I, uh, I don't know that that's ever something that you'd want to trust. However, if you have the opportunity, always aim for the head. That just about wraps it up for the Nightfire. I'm super happy with this bow. It's so smooth. I honestly genuinely think that all bows should shoot this fast because just the other day on stream, somebody was asking me, you know, what could they do to all the bows to make you use them more often? And I said, just make them shoot faster. If every single bow could just reload in, you know, 0.7 seconds, literally without even a reload perk, that would be so convenient, so smooth. A lot of the bows are such a long draw time and such a low damage. In combination, that's just a really bad experience, so I don't usually end up pulling that many bows out of my out of my pockets, but uh, the Nightfire might actually see some more use in the future, and uh, thank you to Aiden for leveling up the schematic so I could get this video out quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, have a nice day. <laughs> you <laughs>